Rachel, and I'm so glad you can join me today. Ready? Everybody say one. One. Story time has just begun. Everybody say two. Two. And shrug your shoulders. And show me your shoes. Or your socks. Or your slippers. Everybody say three. Three. And listen very carefully. Everybody say four. Four and have a seat on the floor. We are gonna to start today by playing a little game. First, you're gonna take one hand and make it into a fist. And we're gonna pretend this is a little box. And then you're gonna take your other hand and make a lid for your box. All right, ready? It goes like this. Here is a box, here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside could be hid. I bet it's a cow, without a doubt. Let's open the lid and let the moo out. Let's put it back on. All right, ready, let's do it again. Here is a box, here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside could be hid. Mm, I bet it's a dinosaur, without a doubt. Let's open the lid and let the roar out. Here is a box, here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside could be hid. I bet it's a monkey, without a doubt. Let's open the lid and let the <laughs> out. Here is a box, here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside could be hid. I bet it's a dog, without a doubt. Let's open the lid and let the <laughs> out. Okay, put your lid on your box really tight. Don't let any more animals out during story time. You can put your box away. But later you can show your grown up your box and your lid and you can show them what's hiding in your box. And maybe they'll have something hiding in their box too if you teach them how to play the game. Quick tip for parents. When you make animal sounds with your kid and have them make them back, you are actually helping them develop phonological awareness which sounds really complicated, but is actually very simple. It's basically being able to hear the small parts, the small sounds in words. So later, that'll actually help them when they go to read because they need to be able to sound out those smaller parts when they're sounding out words. So have lots of fun making silly noises with your kid and know that you're actually helping your baby or your toddler or your preschooler build an important early literacy skill. you guys hold up your hands? Let's see, how many fingers do I have? Can you help me count? On one hand, we've got one, two, three, four, five, then keep counting on the next hand, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fingers. I have ten fingers, and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them up tight. I can open them wide. I can put them together. I can make them hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them up quietly, just like so. Can you do that with me? Got your fingers ready? I have 10 fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them up tight. I can open them wide. I can put them together. I can make them hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them up quietly, just like so. I brought a felt story today, and this one is called, Who Said Moo? Today we're doing peekaboo and hiding. We had animals hiding in our box. We had our hands hiding behind our back. And now we're gonna try and figure out who said moo. I went to the farm when I was two, and on that farm, 
I heard a moo. Who said moo? What animal is that? A horse. Horse? Did you? No way. Horse said, nay. Can you say what the horse says with me? Nay. Who said moo? Huh. Lamb, did you? No, ha ha. Lamb said, what's a lamb say? Ba. Who said moo? Cat, did you? He didn't know how. The cat said, meow, meow. Who said moo? Dog, did you? That would be tough because dog said, ruff, ruff, ruff. Who said moo? Hen, did you? No such luck. The hen went cluck, 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 cluck. I was feeling so sad. I wanted to cry when a black and white cow came walking by. Do you know what she said? I think you do. Let's say it together. The cow said, Good job. Let's say all those sounds again. Cow says, moo. The hen says, cluck, 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 cluck. The dog says, ruff, 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 ruff. The cat says, meow. The lamb says, ba. And the horse says, nay. Let's see, how many animals did we see at the farm today? Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, and this one's tricky, six, seven, because the cat has her baby with her. Good counting, you guys. All right, I'm going to have you do a little stretch and it's called Jack in the Box. And if you don't know what a Jack in the Box is, and it's an old toy, and it had a little box, and inside there was like a little clown called the Jack in the Box. And there was a handle on the side, and you would crank the handle, and it would make music. And you didn't know when, but you would crank and crank and crank, and then all of a sudden, the lid would pop open, and the little clown would come popping out. All right, so we're gonna pretend that we're a Jack in the Box. So can you get down small like you're Jack in the Box? And we're gonna go like this. Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box, oh so still. Won't you come out? Yes, I will. All right, let's try that again. Get down in your box. Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box, oh so still. Won't you come out? Yes, I will. Okay, one more time. Ready? Jack in the box, Jack in the box, oh so still. Won't you come out? Yes, I will. Good job, you guys. All right. I brought another felt with me. And this one has some beautiful flowers. Let's see, there's a red flower yellow flower, a, what color is that one? Purple flower, a blue flower, and orange flower. And I have one that's hiding from me. There we go. It's a pink flower. Something's hiding in a flower. Come on, let's go see. Open up the red flower. It's a bumblebee. <gasps> Peekaboo. Something's hiding in a flower. <gasps> Giving it a hug. Let's open up the yellow flower. <gasps> Look, it 
It's a ladybug. Peek. Something is hiding in a flower. Can you guess? I can't. Hmm, let's open up the purple flower. Oh, look, it's an ant. Peekaboo. Something's hiding in a flower, making the flower squirm. Let's peek in the blue flower and we'll find a worm. Peekaboo worm. Oh, my flowers are trying to run away. Something's hiding in a flower, feeling rather shy. Ooh, quietly, let's open up the orange flower. Oh, look, it's a butterfly. Something's hiding in a flower. Oh, this one's a big surprise. Hmm, what do you think it could be? All sorts of bugs and insects and things that like to live near flowers. Hmm. Let's open up the pink flower. <gasps> I don't believe my eyes. It's a cat. What? That's just silly, isn't it? Cats can't hide in flowers. So silly. All right. Can you help me count them as we take them off? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you get your hands ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. We love having you come and watch our Storytime short videos. We can't wait till we can see you in person. But until then, check out our website for more fun things to do, www.fcld.org. And remember, keep on reading.